Good morning and welcome to Fitness Karate. This is Max Vinoy from Cornerstone Martial Arts. If you are joining for the first time, welcome in. We're going to get started with our warm up, just rotating through various different exercises. It's going to be 30 seconds for each exercise, and I'll let you know when we're switching and what we're doing next. Okay? All right, starting off with jumping jacks. On your marks, get set, and go. Side to side jumping jacks. Keep your feet together, going side to side, still clapping above our head. Time, arm circles. Big circles, trying to loosen up those shoulders. Backwards. Then push ups. Body flat, bend at your elbows. If you need to do it from your knees, that's fine too. Good, back up, pulse lunges, one leg bent, and just pulse there. And get as low as the floor as you can without touching. Oh yeah, feel the burn. Switch, other leg. Stretch kicks, right leg. Swing it up as high as you can and pull it back, same leg. Every time you kick, try and bring it just a little bit higher, get these muscles warmed up. Other leg. Other leg, in to out stretch kicks. Big circle towards your body and away from your body. Other leg. And 
same time. On your back, sit ups all the way down, one whip. One more minute in the warm up. Scissor kick side to side. Keep your legs straight, keep them off the ground. And time. Okay, that's our warm up. Next up, we'll get some stretching done. Feet apart, double shoulder width. Grab your elbows and let your body hang. Bring your elbows down as close to the floor as you can, keeping your legs straight. Bend your knees, use your elbows to push them outwards, sumo stretch. Put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs, and spread them out as far as they can go. Reach over to your left side. Other side. Try to keep those legs straight. Nice deep breath before you stretch. Turn your body all the way to one side. Try and keep that front leg straight. Bend the back leg as much as you need to. Ideally, they're both straight. As if you can go into a full split. Not me. Switch, turn to the other direction. Keep your front leg straight. Face the middle, reverse butterfly stretch. So legs spread, push your hips towards the floor, keep the knees bent. And the 
relax. Switch it, regular butterfly stretch. Feet together, push your knees to the floor and bring your feet in towards your body. Relax. Let's stand back up. Shake everything loose. Time to go into our combination rounds. As usual, we're doing two minute rounds. One minute on one side. And then for the second minute, we'll switch our feet, put our other foot in front. Now, real fast for the stance, you're just going to have one foot in front, one foot in back. Don't make it too wide. Don't make it too narrow. You want a nice, comfortable position where you can easily pick up either leg to do a kicking skill and you can also move around quickly. You're light on your feet. We're gonna do a little bit of movement in with our kicking and punching today, so uh, stay mobile. First combination, we're going to be doing our step and slide forward. So I'm staying with this same foot in front, I'm stepping with it and sliding the back foot with me. Step and slide, step and slide, step and slide. If I go forward, my front foot moves and my back foot follows, if I go backwards, my back foot moves and my front foot follows. So the combination is going to be slide forward, jab cross, hook, uppercut, and then slide back. Slide forward, jab cross, hook, uppercut, and slide back. One, two, three, four, and back to where you started. Jab cross, hook, and up. Here we go. Remember, light on your feet. Ready, set, and go. Way, switch your feet. Make sure you're always punching with your front hand first. And time. Okay, one minute between rounds for your bonus exercise today. If you wanna do something between rounds, we're gonna do two squat thrusts. So I put my hands down, I thrust my legs out, I bring them back in, I jump up. That's one, down, out, in, up, that's two. Two squat thrusts between rounds. We'll just use this time to rest. Next combination. This time we're gonna be using our side to side movement. So if I'm moving to my left, my left foot moves first. If I move to my right, my right foot moves first. But the whole time I wanna stay in this fighting stance with one in front, one in back, I'm not actually switching my feet. Okay, so this combination is, I'm gonna to move to the side, hook, cross, hook, back leg round kick, and then move back to where I started. One step to the side, hook, 
cross, hook, round kick, and step back. So watch when you're doing this. It's my front hand hitting first, and I'm moving towards my front leg. Front hand, front leg, slide and hook, cross, hook, round kick, slide back. Here we go, ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, and slide back. Halfway, other side. And time. All right, two squat thrusts for your bonus exercise. Down, out, in, and up. It's like a burpee without the push up. Um, can I take a break? A break? Oh my goodness. If you need to take a break here, yeah, that's fine. I bet you can keep going though. It's only a 30 minute class. All right, next combination from here, we're starting with a backward step and slide. So my back foot moves first, I'm moving away from my opponent. At the same time, I'm starting with my backhand punching, cross, upper, cross, front leg, front kick, and then slide back forward. Slide back, cross, upper, cross, front leg, front kick, and then slide back into the position. One, two, three, four, and back. Slide away, hit with your back hand. One, two, three, kick, slide forward. Ready? And go. Halfway, other side.
same time. Two squat thrusts for the bonus. <sighs> okay. Next combination, this time we're gonna be moving this side again. We're gonna be moving around our opponent. So imagine your opponent in front of you. You wanna be rotating around, keeping your eyes on your opponent, okay? So the combination is gonna be three jabs as we take three steps. I move towards my front foot, I hit with my front hand. Jab and move one, jab and move two, jab and move three, then two hook punches and two round kicks. Got all that? Jab and move one, two, three. Two hooks, one with each hand, two round kicks, one with each leg. One more time. Jab one, jab two, jab three, moving on each one. Hook, hook, round kick, and round kick. Here we go. Go. Halfway, now you're hitting with the other hand and you're moving the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Time. Okay, two squat thrusts for the bonus. Okay, next combination, we're going to be doing our switch roundhouse kick. So from my fighting stance here, I want to switch my feet without actually turning my body. When I do a full switch, my body ends up turning one way or the other way. The switch we're doing for this kick, I'm gonna switch my feet, but leave my body where it is. I switch my feet and round kick. I'm kicking off what was once the front leg. I switch to the back and then kick with it. Doing some fancy footwork here. So the combination is gonna be jab, switch, kick, cross, hook, cross. Again, jab, switch, round kick, Cross, hook, cross. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Remember your front leg is kicking. You're switching it to the back. Leave your hips where they are. And then from there, throw the roundhouse kick. Ready, set, and go. Jab, switch kick, cross, hook, cross.
Halfway, other side. Almost there. And time. Two squat thrusts for the bonus. Okay, I'm tired. One more round. Last round, this one's gonna be freestyle, but with a twist. So freestyle, you can do any hand techniques, any foot techniques, just throw your techniques out there, try and mix it up, don't do the same thing the whole time. However, I'm gonna call out random steps throughout the round. So if I say backwards, you're gonna take a slide backwards and continue your freestyle. If I say left, you need to slide the left, continue your freestyle. Forward, to the right, so any direction. Plus, I might say switch kick. If I say switch kick, you switch to the round kick, and then you're back to freestyle, okay? So freestyle, whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna call out backwards, left, right, forwards, or switch kick, and you're just gonna execute that as we go along, okay? Here we go, freestyle, go. Forwards. Backwards. Switch kick. To your left. To your left. Forwards. To your right. Backwards. Backwards. Right. Switch kick. Halfway. Switch your feet. Put the other one in front. To your left. Forward, forward. Backwards, backwards. Left. Right. Switch kick. Forward, backward, left, right, switch kick, switch kick, switch kick, one more, switch kick, and time. Okay. Well done. We're going to finish our class today with some plank, everybody's favorite. We're gonna do three rounds. First round is gonna be 20 seconds. Second round is gonna be 30 seconds. And third round is gonna be 45 seconds. Three rounds of plank. Your goal with the low plank is to keep your body flat, keep your core tight. Your arms should be underneath of you, not too far in front. And you want your eyes up and forward or looking at your hands, not looking at your feet because then your butt tends to come up. Right, keep everything flat, okay? First one is easy, 20 second plank. Ready, set, and go. Just hold that position. 
Like I said, this is the easy round. But Mr. Vanoy, play guitar, yes it is. Easy in comparison, how about that? Three, two, one, and time. See, look at that. I already made it through one round. All right, next round, this one's going to be 30 second pluck. Same thing, just 10 seconds longer. I believe in you. Get ready, get set, and go. Only 30 seconds, that's 10 more than last time. You made it through 20, you can make it through 30. And if you tried to make it through 20, then you can try to make it through 30. Even if you don't make it all the way, you're still working hard. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, last round's gonna be 45 seconds. This one's the big one. After this, we're done. Okay, plank position on your marks. Get set and go. I believe in you. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths. Fall over, that's okay. See if you can get back up and get into it. You should be proud whether or not you make it all the way as long as you're trying your best. You're gonna feel this later, huh? Okay, good news. We're halfway. Just kidding, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Fantastic job, that's it, we're done. So quick announcements before we go. We are still doing class on Saturday, the same earlier time, uh, 10 o'clock, yeah, 10 o'clock on Saturday. And then starting next week, um, because, well, first of all, big announcement, Cornerstone Mantra, the studio I train at back in Delaware, is opening up again next week for kickboxing classes and some karate classes. They are still going to do online classes, via Zoom and via Facebook Live. So if you want to join them, keep up the training, do it in person, do it online, either one's fine. I am with them. What's that? I am with them. Awesome, very good. So they're gonna be opening up next week. These classes that I've been teaching, these public classes on Facebook and on YouTube, these classes I'm not gonna be doing next week regularly. I might be doing sporadic classes, which I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on the are Facebook group, sure? if you guys are part of that. If you guys are not part of Cornerstone Martial Arts, or Bye. Already, Bye. So if you are not part of Cornerstone Iron Circle already, and you want to be a part of our studio to continue this training, if you guys have been enjoying these classes, I will post links for that in the description of this video. If it's on Facebook, it's gonna be up here. If it's YouTube, it's gonna be down there. So check the description if you wanna get involved. Like I said, they're offering both in-person classes and online classes for now. Obviously, depending on where you live, you might not have places near you that are opening up yet. That's okay. I encourage you, if you're enjoying these, reach out to whichever studio is near you and see if you can keep training or just keep training on your own. You probably have some backlog of these videos to look back on, so keep watching these and keep training. And most importantly, just get moving and have fun, okay? All right, let's bow out. Should we up? Yeah. Right hand up. Ta-da, tall set. Tongue suit. 